we'll Esa sí tiene miel. Esa es la que vamos a vamos a llevar para extraer la miel. Siempre thank you. Uh, gracias. Hay que yeah. decir las a las just, abejas. Kind of Porque a esa son a, a ese a ese pedazo es el que le vamos a extraer la miel. Okay. So, Así que ahorita lo vamos a llevar allá adentro para poder sacar la miel. So, be... Let me see. So it needs a little more, but it, it'll work for today. So it's got honey on this side, honey on this side. It needs a little more, but that's pretty full <laughs> down there. Um, I mm -hmm. will show you one that's full though. Miren la miel, miren la miel. Mira, mira. Ahorita la vamos a sacar. So that's what we're going for. Is, is a frame that is full of honey. So it's got capped, it's known as capped honey. Mm -hmm. On both sides. And it's it has to be a certain moisture level. So you can feel that and see how hot. Oh, it's heavy. Yeah, they can be. Pesado. Yeah, they're very heavy. So yeah. these are. This is the one that we'll kind of look at when we extract. Um, but what I'll do is I'll take, and you know, once it's seventy-five percent, then I'll freeze it. See, this is a different color, so they've yeah. probably been eating something different. Um, and I'll usually just date them. Oh yeah. Um, I have. I've extracted a bunch of honey, so that stuff I just did some of it, but mm. I still have all of this to do. Mm. So see, see, pick, I want you to, I want you to pick that up and see how heavy it is. Just to oh, see, yeah. just to see how, I know you got to stop. I have Aquí some está la miel. Aquí, Este es un, un colador, un colador donde se cola la miel. Pero aquí pasa por este y luego pasa por este otro. Yeah, por ese otro más fino. Así que son dos coladores. So, ella this, ella me dice que eh, hay que lo ponen en, en el congelador. <coughs> por, por 24 horas. Okay. Tiene que estar en el, en el congelador. Para que si hay alguna bacteria, algún animalito muera. Y así ya se pueda comer la miel. Así que es interesante lo que ella me, me cuenta. When you get a frame, Ese like es un, this one. Ella okay. tiene ahí una, una navaja que calienta. You have to take the wax off before you oh, stick it yeah. in the center. And this takes it off. Para heat. quitarle la, la, la cera. Um, Usa esa navaja caliente para quitarle la cera, la de cera de encima. Ok. I'm not going to use this today because it's too messy. But, but it, it, you basically take it, it shaves it, and then any of the wax cappings you can take. So, so and, that's the one you... Yeah, so you can oh, take it and, es and then take quita. it through a filter. And then I'll just filter that and that can be honey. I mean, that's, that's actually oh, yeah. honey there. So, y lo this guarda is one ahí para way. Sacarle miel. And then the other way that I'm going to use is simply, I'm going to use one of these uh, where I'm going to take some of the capping. Uh -huh. um, I have some in here already that already are spinning. Mm -hmm. um, so we want them to look kind of like, you know, kind of like this where, where we've taken so the So this cappings. is the, the... This is one, this is one spinner and then that's a big one. Um, and then it, it almost, you know, has, well, I'll show you. Um, so this you, you right you just turn, turn it and it spins it it whips spin. it it takes all of the wax and stuff off which i'll show you um you can get really expensive ones people can get some that are electronic i like doing it this way i just like mm. do it just it's kind of a process okay so let me give him a little bit you would just take you know pull it off because you you want to Keep the frames oh, not to open, them. to open. Yeah, you have to, to open the capping so uh, that the honey abrir, will spin. Para yeah. que salga la miel. So it will oh. actually spin. So you can, 
And then this wax, people use this to make um, candles and lip balm and um, some people, uh, different cosmetics. Um, you can use the wax. I could sell it if I, you know, melt it and sell it. Uh, different companies will buy it. Why if you just do it like this? No, no. Well, you can. Um, it oh, no. You want to do as little damage to the... Because oh. see, the bees have made all this. Mm -hmm. So I would just take it and then whatever um, I might, you know, kind of... I'll show you how that works. So this... Um, and maybe we'll just do one side because I know you're mm -hmm. you're in a hurry. You've been very... <laughs> it's like an ice cream bin. So basically, I just okay, make sure that out. they're... Y ahora vamos a sacar la miel. So you can see there's like three, and you can, this one you can see where the wax. Yeah. Um, but I clean it out after each one. So this um, this one probably needs to be repaired. Esta máquina es un poco antigua. Because it doesn't. Pero a ella le gusta. But basically mm -hmm. both sides, and then. Um, quiet, Henry. And then see how this is bent. Mm -hmm. um, so that's okay. I just hold it down. So what it happens when it spins, I'm going to crank this one direction. And then when it spins, it will come out through to the... this spigot. Um, so I have to be really careful that this one is closed. Oh, yeah. And it doesn't Tienes go out. You can see what that's like. That's a yeah. lot of javes. Because it can actually, mm. so we're going to use this one. Uh, this one has a thicker screen, mm -hmm. almost like a window. Yeah. Uh, and that's fine. If I were going to show my honey in the state fair, you they like it to be bigger. But this oh, has really? two, yeah, mm -hmm. it has two different sizes. So this one is the first one. And you can see there's some honey down in there. Yeah. Um, Aquí hay un poco de miel. That has been mm -hmm. already been extracted from these mm -hmm. um, that I did earlier. Yeah, and see, that's down. a different size. Mm -hmm. So, see that screen is a oh, little. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Two. yeah. Dos. And if it gets, um, if it gets too, I can always use like a heat gun to kind of take some of it off if it um, gets. But it'll generally come off when I and I just sanitize it after each time that I do it. So this is a smaller one. This is a little bit bigger one. I could do so. You go spend it that six. one. Hmm? You go spend yeah. So we're gonna spend this. So what I would do? I don't need these on. What else do I do? Let me put. Um, and I usually, it's nice to have it level. Um, but vamos a. It's it's an old machine. I mean, it's it's probably. I don't vamos know. a darle vuelta para que eh, so la miel do, pueda salir. Is, and it's going to come out here, and then we'll see. It's going to take anything. Pues ahí ya le está dando so vuelta. You just kind of have to do it slower. This is kind of a slower one. Um, if I get impatient, what I'll do is, and sometimes I do this, and sometimes I will put like a brick or something to tilt it so that I can. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It'll, it'll flow faster. So let's try that. Um, and then you can just, this is what I make Luke do. Oh, so yeah. it, has, it has to kind of be level. And this is slower as a, and this one is faster. So oh, this one faster. I could do really fast. Like, it's easy. It doesn't, mm -hmm. although it needs to be mounted. So you can, you can do, oops, um, you can do, you can do it much faster in this one. Um, and it's very, this one's a lot lighter. I forgot I got to hold it. Um, but you can see how, you can actually see it spinning in this, in this particular one. So this is, a, this is just a different one. Mm -hmm. And some, some beekeepers like to just keep these and just extract it as they use it. I like this one um, because I think it's, I don't know, I guess I'm just used to it. 
Um, but let's, you can already see it's starting to get some stuff. I need to have you come over to fix these. <laughs> I need to get, I don't know how they got bent like this, I guess. Anyway, but you can see it, and, I, and it basically I just, I just spin it. Yeah, yeah, está dando vuelta, pero ya está saliendo la miel por acá. Luego cuando la saca Tiene que dejarla un día Un día ahí en el bote So you leave it uh, one day on the, on the bottle Once it goes through here It takes it a while to go through the filter Because it's very thick mm -hmm. But I will do about maybe 10 minutes one way And then I'll check and you can check and see, you just pull it up and you kind of see the honey's still on this side. Yeah. You can see it. Yeah. Um, and then you flip it and then you do the other side. Um, so mm -hmm. maybe 20 minutes um, for Entonces these three Entonces así, así le saca la miel uh, a esto y luego and ya cuando uh, le deja un, un día ahí en el bote... Ya después queda así. Miren. Tienen que probar esta miel. Este, cualquier cualquier este cosa. Manden un mensaje. Y yo les, ustedes pueden probar esta miel. Esta miel está bien. Está bien este, yo la, siempre la, la llevo de acá. Y está bien sabrosa la miel. Um, si ustedes manden un mensaje si quieren probar esta miel, ella te lo vende. Uh, how much you sell it one of these? Uh, generally, I sell those in. A guy does it at a farmer's market. I think he sells them for $12. $12. Doce uh, dólares uno de it's este. A pound. Um, it's the same amount as. So $12. $12. Yeah, but I mean, if it's a, if, it, if he sells them for that much, usually I just, 10 is fine. Ah, uh, $10, $10. dollars. So, uh, so you can see these are two, um, different ones. They're from the, they're both from the spring, but this one is more blonde mm -hmm. and this one is darker. Dark. Uh-huh. Um, these are the same size. This is just in a different, this is in a this glass different. one. These are some new ones I got this year just to try. But you can have them like this color. Some of it I have is, um, oh, here's another one. Some of them I have are mm -hmm. like la... really red. Oh, really red? Yeah, some of those are, that's more fall stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but. Tiene Generally, tres colores, casi tres colores. Uno más claro, uno más oscurito y ustedes vieron la otra más oscuro. Así que yo los, los dejo con este video. Espero que les haya gustado. Y nos vemos en el próximo video.